Farmers in the Netherlands, have you heard about this story? They're fighting back against a government that is punishing them in order to attempt to fulfill a green agenda. The furious farmers you can see here blocking off major highways, reportedly encroaching into airports, choking off food distribution centers. They're not joking about this because, after all, they're the ones that make the food. All this in response to a government edict which seized their land or dramatically impacted their business as everybody goes crazy about climate change, and they're the ones that are going to have to take all the heat. A ridiculous move against the people responsible for growing the food in this country. Dutch police using tear gas, sending dogs after farmers in efforts to break up the protests. It's now escalated to where there were reports that Dutch police actually fired shots at unarmed farmers at one point at this tractor you see here. The Dutch are the world's second biggest agricultural exporter after the United States. A lot of farming is done in that beautiful country. This is all about meeting climate goals and green energy policies that will exacerbate food shortages and starvation around the world, as you might expect. Of course, though, anything to help first world liberals sleep better at night. Dairy farmer and agricultural advocate Stephanie Nash joins us now to talk about this. And it's good to have you on. What do you make of this story? What are your thoughts on this? You know, I think it's time that farmers and ranchers rise up. There's been so many regulations and bills against the agriculture industry. You know, the Netherlands is not the first to riot against the government. And it doesn't matter if the refrigerator is empty, right? I, I just, I, I'm trying to make sense of it because you see all the different ways that they try to, to go after this problem. And there's so much virtue signaling in all of this agenda. Uh, to try and take it out on the people that are growing the food. I mean, how much of, of the climate change issue is actually coming from farms, I guess is a better question. Great question, and I was gonna bring it up anyway. Less than 10% of agriculture is the problem, and there we are go. the lowest under transportation, under electricity, under housing development, and they still make us the center of the problem. And it's time that agriculture and family farmers and ranchers around this country, which keep in mind is 97% owned, start to educate communities on why rural communities are needed. It is our food security here in the United States, and it is protecting countries like the Netherlands that have strong imports and exports in the United States for our food supply. Yeah, it's something else. I mean, they don't understand that the fight they're picking. They think their food grows at Whole Foods, especially in places like New York and L.A., <laughs> and that's where all the policymakers live. They don't get it. They don't understand what you guys do. You keep us alive. Thank you so much, Stephanie Nash. We appreciate your time.